Welcome to Backwoods Pursuit. Today I'm going to show you how to set up black gold sight tape on this black gold pro sight. Setting up your black gold sight tape really is the same or similar process for a lot of their uh, sights here that black gold offers, uh, whether it's the black gold ascent, uh, ascent verdict assault. Uh, a lot of those are going to be the same process or very similar to this, so it applies to those as well. I'm going to go through this process each step by step, but first I'm going to recommend that if you haven't done so yet, make sure your first, second, and third axes are all set. I'll put a card right up here for a link to our video on how to set all of those before you come down to the range here to take care of getting the sight tape set. I'm sure would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button for us, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and follow us on our website backwardspursuit.com if you like our content. Let's go get started. Okay, so there's a couple ways you can go about getting the sight tape set on your bow. And really, it's good to cross-reference both ways, but I'm going to show you how to do both here in this video. So the first one, uh, when you get your sight tape from Black Gold, they've got a feet per second for, and a whole list of a whole bunch of, of sight tapes and, and, and pre-computed uh, mar hash marks for those specific uh, sights. So you can go ahead and, and do that, go uh, chrono your bow and, and uh, cut that tape out and put it on and you'll be pretty close uh, doing that way but I like to do it manually cross-reference it to make sure that, that that sight tape is is accurately representing my specific bow setup um, so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the bow through the chrono and we're gonna get the the, uh, the feet per second on this specific setup on this Bowtech realm with the with the 492 grain arrow that I've got set up I'm gonna I'm gonna do that first and then we're gonna do the manual way and we're gonna see how close they come out at the end of the day. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot this through the chrono. We're gonna see where this ends up. And then we'll we'll go from there. So 293. 294. And 294 again. So now let's do the manual method where we go ahead and use uh, hash marks on this vertical sight bar. We're going to mark a 20 yard, uh, make a 20 yard mark here as well as a 60 or 70 yard mark. Okay, first up I'm going to start at 20 yards. I'm going to go ahead and move my sight here up to about where I'm going to figure 20 yards is going to be. And it takes a little bit of guessing and then we're just going to move that to where we're dialed at 20 and then move back to 60 and do the same thing. Okay, so we are a smidge low. So I'm gonna move that down just a little bit. Now again, it doesn't matter which pin you use, just pick one and use the same pin for 20 and 60. Okay, I made a little adjustment here at 20 yards. I think I'm pretty well dialed. I'm gonna shoot two more here to make sure. All right, so that's perfect. I'm dialed on at 20 yards. So, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a pen here and the finer point pen or pencil you can use the better. But all I can see on my sight tape right here, I got the little red arrow and I'm gonna go ahead and make a mark on that red arrow where that's pointing to mark my 20 yard distance. Now I'm gonna move back out to 60 yards and if you're not comfortable doing that you can kind of move your way back to make sure you don't overshoot the target or undershoot the target because you are having to guess a little bit here okay i moved out to 60 now i dialed my sight down to about where i know uh, approximately where 60 yards is on this dial so i, I moved it there i'm going to shoot a couple shots here get this dialed in and go find the sight tape Okay, that shot was a little bit high, so I'm going to move this back up a little, try to bring it down right in that bullseye, and we're about there. That is about money right there. Yeah, that's perfect. We are set out to 60, so now what we're going to do is the same thing that we did at 20 yards, grab our pen. We're going to go ahead and make our mark right here at this, this bottom. We now have our 20 yard mark, our 60 yard mark. And 
we were able to get real good tight groups at 20 and real good tight groups at 60 so we know that's going to be uh, pretty darn good of course there's a little bit of human error in there so only go out as far as you can shoot really tight groups so i'm gonna go grab those arrows run back to the shop now and we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to install the sight tape on here because there's a couple different options a couple ways you can do it as far as where you set your zero now that we got our calculations and we chronoed the bow down at the range we can bring it back to the shop here and we'll work on finding the sight tape that's going to fit our specific bow setup so this is what you're going to get from black gold it's going to be a bunch of these and you get multiple sheets of these uh, you got a bunch of different feet per second all the way from 320 something down to the low 200s so it's going to cover most of your situations so what we did with the chrono out there it chronoed anywhere from 293 to 297 that was the range i shot a bunch more times off camera just to make sure i had the right calculation there but the average about 294 295. if i were to just grab the 294 or 295 sight tape and match it up here i'll show you what is going to happen here here's the hash marks that i did manually right here is our 20 yard right here is our 60 yard so if we if we compare that to finding on the sheet here if we find first our 294 then right there you can see that doesn't quite match up 294 we would be a little bit off there so we're going to move to the next one here if i were to have estimated or just gone with the 295 average right there we're pretty close but it's still a little bit off so we keep doing this process till we find the one that m best matches here and I'm gonna try 300 here bump up to that at 300 is the exact hash marks that I made for my my manual shooting so anywhere in this ballpark is going to get you really close but if I want to trust my shooting and what I did as far as going 20 and 60, that 300 feet per second matches up perfectly. If I want to trust the chrono and just go with that, 294 or 295, we'd go right there. It's still really, really close. Um, so you'd be pretty close either way, but uh, I'll leave that up to you how you want to go ahead and do that. For me, I'm going to go ahead and go with, with my shooting because I trust that a little bit more than the estimated sight tape on uh, that's pre-computed here. I'll keep an eye on that if I notice that if I practice at some longer ranges that I'm hitting low or high, I'll come back here and, and do another calculation. So now let's put this on. Pretty easy process since I'm going to be using this uh, the 300 sight tape. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. So just a simple process there of cutting this guy out and so I'm ready to put, install this right on the site here so there is a couple of different ways you can do this um, I like to actually leave this on here um, just because the this, as you can see here on the site tape it only goes out to a hundred so if you want to do any practicing past a hundred um, it's nice to have some more white space down here to make manual hash marks obviously you're not Hopefully not going to be shooting at an animal that far, but I do like to practice at those longer ranges like that. All right, so there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can uh, start or zero this right here with the top of this flush. So you can see how I move that sight up and down. Uh, some people prefer to keep that flush to start, and some want to prefer to move it all the way to the very top so you have as much downward uh, mobility as possible. I like to start flush just because I know that I have a good, uh, a, a repeatable starting point. And then when I put my sight tape on here, I want this red arrow to be pointing to whatever my floating pin is going to be. So for myself, and on, in this case, my floating pin is going to be my bottom pin. I'm going to use that as my floater. You can use any of the pins as your floater that you like. I like to have the bottom pin. Uh, be my floater pin because that's typically going to be when I one I use for longer ranges So the way I'm going to set this up go ahead and put this right there so that that red arrow Points right at that 60 mark and then tape that on there You can see when they give you the sight tape. It's a little bit wider than the, the space here So you have the option to either 
Now you'll cut this side of it off so, so all the yardages are on the inside or you can cut the inside over here off so that it's going to be more like this so you're going to see it like that instead so whichever way you choose doesn't really matter whatever you can see the best so i am going to be cutting this side off right there so i can see the numbers out on as far out here because it just makes it a little more visible to my eye so that's what i'll be doing i'm gonna go ahead and cut that down right now and then install it right on the site there. Okay, so now for the final step, I'm gonna go ahead and take my site tape off here. I'm gonna peel the sticker off. And this part, you wanna make sure that you get it obviously right exactly the way that you want it. So I'm gonna put that 60 mark, slide it up under, tuck it up underneath that red arrow. And go ahead and set that in there. Make sure I'm straight up and down. Looks pretty good. And then go ahead and set that in there. Press on it. And we are all set. So that's what that looks like. So we're able to now move this up and down to whatever yardage we want or need. And then the, the site has enough adjustment to go all the way down here. That's the low, the lowest part on um, this adjustment. Now, whether or not I have enough arrow clearance for that, um, I, I don't know. If we'll even need to ever test that. But that's a long, long ways out there. But it gives you that extra room there. Um, so that's that's the way I like to set mine up. Again, bring it back to flush, and that red mark there is going to be right at your 60-yard uh, marker. So that's zeroed out. So that is how you set up the sight tape on your black gold sight or really any other sight that is movable like this. Um, the same principles, the same process applies. Hopefully that was helpful for you and thanks for joining us here today on Backwoods Pursuit. We'll see you next time.